Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500. And welcome back to the last video on the new car. The new car being named as Bluey's Twin. I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> I've done so many blue ones now, so it had to be Bluey's Twin. So that's the name of the car. Welcome to the last video. It's up in the air, as you might have noticed. Um, service today. So let's make a start. It's all ready to go. It's all warmed up, up on ramps, ready to drop the oil. So uh, I'm just going to let the uh, oil drain down for a couple of minutes and then we'll get the, uh, the plug out, get the filter off, swap it over and then that'll be that. I'm not going to do the pollen filter. I just don't want to. Hateful job. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I've already done the air filter. Anyway, let's get on with it and we, we'll go through what is left to do on this car. Let's go. So, as you know, we've got this horrible dent here. I am going to have another go at this today. Um, the, the dent guy has not got back to me. Um, I think I can safely assume he's not going to. Um, maybe he's not doing it anymore. So, as much as it pains me to do it, I have found a, a new, or I say new, a used hatch, entire hatch, except for the handle, for 75 quid over in Essex. So, I've arranged to go tomorrow morning and collect it and pay the 75 pounds for it. Um, it would cost me about 25 quid for the dent guy to do this, for that particular dent guy. Others are more expensive, I believe. Um, so, although I've got to change it, uh, I think it makes sense to do that, really. Uh, but as I say, I am going to have another go at it today. I'm gonna, I've, got, I've got a... Um, obviously, I've got PDR tools. I've taken the thing off. You can get access to the back, um, and I am going to try pushing from the back and see what I can do. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because you've still got, although I have had a go here, it doesn't pick up that well on camera to be fair, but there's still a bit of a ridge there. There's a ridge there and of course you've got the ridge there and you've got the cracked paint there. So it's not brilliant, but as I move around, you probably can't see it, but as I move around and the light moves around, you can see it sticks out like a sore thumb. And at the weekend when it was parked here and the sun was on it, you could see it really badly. So that's the plan. I'll try. Even if, I, even if I do do that, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep this. Um, and at some point, maybe in the, past, in, the, in the future, not in the past, sometime in the future, maybe I can get it repaired. Uh, the one I'm getting has got a little dent here, about here-ish. Only a little dent, and I'll easily be able to pull that out. So I'm not too bothered about that. Um, but it is only 75 quid. Um, they, they always tend to be pretty cheap anyway. Um, some people take the mick, but um, yeah, tailgates are one of the cheapest things you can buy, really, panels-wise. Even cheaper than wings. I don't know why. Maybe they're not in such demand, I suppose. Most people hit at the front, don't they? But um, there's a few in colour, but that's the cheapest one and closest one, so we're going to go for that one. Um, apart from that, I have decided, only one person so far, up, up to this morning, since the last video went live on uh, Sunday, which was yesterday, only one person has said to me, paint that bar. No one else has mentioned it, but I had already decided, because when you take the, um, the tow hook cover off, of course you can see the red underneath, so I have decided I am going to paint it. I'm only going to do it black. I've got some gloss black paint in a spray can, which is like cheap pound shop stuff. So I'm just going to give it a quick rub down, key it up, clean it, and then just paint it black, Leave it, let it dry for an hour or so, and then stick it back on again. It means I've got to take it off, but you know it's easier to, I'm not going to try and paint it on the car, that would just be silly. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, apart from that, I am going to try. I couldn't get paint at Halfords, but I spoke to um, Alex at Car Salvage 101 um, over the weekend, and he said he's he's tried 249, Fiat 249. Now, I'm pretty certain I have actually got a can of Fiat 249, and I did think about trying it. He said it's, it's not perfect match, but he said it'll have to do. So I'm going to try it on one wheel. Actually, what I'll do, actually, I've got some other... I've got some other ones in the garage. Ones that are worse than these ones. I'm going to try on one of those first to see what it looks like. But it's not, they're not that bad, actually. But, and I could leave them, but, I mean, that one's not too good. So I'd, I'd rather try and get as close as I can. So I'm going to do that. 
Uh, and the other thing, I just need to give it a clean on the inside. You know, it's final clean. Seats have all been cleaned, as you know. Um, just needs a couple of little bits going over on the door cards where they're still a little bit grubby, cleaning all the plastics, what have you. We've got a Bluetooth transmitter thing to go in there, which I always put in ones that haven't got a Bluetooth. I just buy those on Amazon, they're really good. Um, they're about £11.99, I think they are. Uh, I'll show you it when I put it in. Uh, if you want to get one, um, I'll put the link to the Amazon page in the description. So go take a look and uh, get yourself one if you want one. They, they work pretty good. You work with your phone and you can do your music through it as well. And it just uses an FM station on the stereo. You tune it to, you tune it to uh, the frequency and it just works. It's, they're pretty good. Um, so that's it, I think. Uh, oh, we've got the... Um, I don't know what I've done with it. It's in the garage. We've got the black strip to go on the bumper as well. That one of those... I actually bought two of them because I thought one of them was the wrong one. Uh, it turns out it was the right one, and I thought, you know what? I got one, one was, I'm not sure which ones I've received, actually. One of them was £25 something, and the other one was £15 something, so it was the £15 one that I thought was the wrong one. But it turns out it was the right one, so I said, oh, let's just have it anyway, because obviously at some point in the future, I'll probably need one. So the girl who's buying it, who obviously hasn't seen it, she's seen pictures of it, but the girl who's buying it uh, is really, really excited and uh, I've told her it will be ready this week. So locksmith's coming today to cut the key, uh, and then that'll be it. It'll be done. Uh, the only thing I need to chase up, of course, is the service history. So obviously I'm servicing it now, so that will count, and I will say to her, look, when you get the logbook back, I think I've been through this before, but when you get the logbook back, give me the document reference number, and then I'll do my usual and track down the service history. Um, someone did ask, they didn't understand how I do that. Rather than going through it again now, if you click on the link above, uh, or at the end of the video, there's also a link. Uh, I did a video some time ago, which is in the how-to series, I believe, uh, on how I track down service histories. So if you want to know, click on the link at the end, or the one I've just posted above a few seconds ago, and that will take you to it. Anyway, let's get on. Let's get this oil dropped before it cools right down, and get this all changed done. I'm going to I'm going to record it all on. I don't know why I'm going to bother, but I'm going to record it on uh, time lapse. Uh, so I will see you on the other side when it's all done. That's it, all done. <clears throat> Checked for leaks, no leaks, new filter, new oil. Was, I've already got rid of the oil. It was um, it was quite black actually, even though it didn't look that black when I used the dipstick. Um, it was quite black. So uh, I wrote the date on the bottom of the filter. So whoever comes to service it next will be able to see, as well as the stamp in the book of course, but we'll be able to see that when the date it was changed. I always find that helpful. That something that was really, really tight. I don't know if you saw that I had to use um, a breaker bar on it to get it out, or well, you know, to get it started. So I couldn't do it with the socket. Um, but yeah, that's the tightest one I've had. I've never yet touched wood. Had one that I can't get out. But uh, yeah, that was very tight. So actually, I don't need to have this running anymore. It's been running for probably 10 minutes. I, did, I need to check the level, but I'll wait until I get it back down on the floor to check the level should be all right but I might, might need a bit of a top up we'll see um, right so what's next I think while I've got it up in the air uh, I'm gonna be easier just to touch these bits up so I'm just gonna rub them down a little bit and I'm just gonna paint some on I'm not gonna be too uh, I don't know about these bits I don't know if these will buff out they might do if not I'll touch those up as well uh, once we've done that I'm gonna get that bar off and uh, Give that a paint at least that could be drying while i'm doing the other bits and pieces after that we'll do the wheel the wheels 
the wheels, wheels, that battery's skew with. I just noticed it's too far over. I need to release that clamp. It's up in the air. It's just sitting on the edge. So I need to release that and um, move it over. Just noticed that. Um, when I took the oil filter off, there was something dropped into the pan thing. I thought, well, what on earth is that? And what it was, it was this. If you recognize that, it's one of them. So if you remember, I had to replace that because there wasn't one. So obviously whoever serviced it last, dropped this down there and it was obviously wedged in with the air filter, uh, oil filter. And they just, so they just left it off. Nice. Good old garages, eh? Um, so at least I've got a spare one of those again now. So yeah, let's, um, let's get these bits of paint done. I'm not gonna bother filming that. I'm just gonna touch those up uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'll, uh, I'll see you once I've done those and uh, we'll get that bumper done, bumper bar done. Uh, and we also need to get that black strip on as well. Obviously I've got to take the bumper off so it's easy to get that black strip on once the, uh, the bumper is actually off the car, I think. So we'll, uh, we'll do that as well. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I've touched those in. They're not perfect, but they've got, actually I might try and rub down, there's some little rough edges on it, on those ones there. I might try and rub those down a little bit more, but I'll just whack some tape on and then put some paint, rub them all down a little bit just to loosen them up and then um, just put some paint over. Um, I also put a little bit of paint over just where it touched down there. Tiny little bit of paint where it's just touched it. I mean, you, you can't, you really can't see anything. There's, it's just nothing. Craziness. Right, let me show you uh, what I've done with the bar. Nice and glossy black. So I just keyed it up. I couldn't live with it being red. Just didn't look right. So I just keyed it up and whacked some gloss black paint over it, which is now, I believe, yeah, it's now dry. Uh, still a couple of red bits around the edges, but that's the, that's the bottom anyway. You don't, you literally don't see that at all. Right, let me get this back on. Right. That's the bumper back on with the black strip. So yeah, looking good, looking good. I've just got to, I've got to do the bolts up still, but um, uh, yeah, that's on now. I won't be coming back off again now. Uh, and next thing, I'm going to get it down off of the stands, racks, racks, stands, whatever you call them, ramps, that's the word I was looking for. And it's time to clean the engine. Always dirty, always the same. Oh, I've got to do that, sort that battery out, haven't I? Move that over as well, so we'll get that done now. Um, and then that'll be it on that. Um, always, these things always come out, I need to tuck them back in. But every, virtually every car, I see it's the same. I just don't think it's a very good design and they just pop out. So yeah, I mean that battery, well you can see battery, whoever put that battery in, it's up on the edge. So we'll get some WD on that, loosen that off, move the battery over, reclamp. Um, yeah, clean the engine, um, still got to do the wheels. I'm going to clean the inside first. Once we clean the inside, get an air freshener in there as well. Uh, it's already all hoovered couple of little bits on the seat that need touching up um, do the wheels, um, do, 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 I think that's it then after that, I think, oh apart from the dent in the back or the new the new tailgate whichever it's going to be, that's a real shame about that I hadn't noticed, noticed that I don't think any of you actually at the moment know about it because you've only seen the first video haven't you and it was, uh, it's in, I didn't discover it until the second video when I, after I cleaned the car. So none of you at the moment know that that's there. But you're all right, you're, you're all right in what you said, I've had a right result with this car, right from, everybody's agreed. Even, even with that unfortunate dent in the hatch, uh, it is a absolute real result. Someone did say buy a lottery ticket, but <laughs> I'm never that lucky. Um, but there is another car coming. Oh, I'm picking up another car tomorrow. I'm picking up another car. Not having it picked up, I'm having it. I'm picking it up, or will be revealed completely different way of buying all will be revealed anyway that's coming in another video so let's get on uh, let's get it down off the off the ramps get this engine cleaned and carry on well while we're cleaning this engine I thought um, I'd have a quick look at the fuses um, so for those of you who haven't seen the fiasco I had with the ABS on the white car um, go back and have a look at that and, and figure it and see how I um, solved it in the end but I thought I'd have a look on this car um, at the fuses uh, let me see, show you what I found. It's there, 20 amp yellow fuse. 
4 amp, uh, 40 amp orange fuse, 20 amp yellow fuse. It's here on this car. So I, I have come to the conclusion, when, you, when you're on multi-ECU scan, there are two ABS to choose from. I think it's seven and eight or eight and nine. I can't remember off the top of my head. So I can only assume that some cars have a system where you've got an extra fuse. Maybe, maybe the sensors are different. That you know, there's a sensor that only a sensor and a pump that use one fuse, and on some of them they use two fuses. That's the only thing I can think of. It still doesn't explain why there was no fuse in it when it was working perfectly before. That that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, unless, as I say, it popped out somehow by some sort of spirit. Um, but it's here on this car. Just thought I'd have a look, and uh, yeah, just out of interest, really, I'm going to look on every car and see if we can figure out looking at other cars um i left the the, uh, the beige car that i took that other 40 amp fuse out as well obviously i didn't know about the uh, the 20 amp fuse at that point so i'll have to have a look at that one as well when i get that one back next week um yeah so that's it engine's clean as clean as i can get it anyway um let's get it off the ramps right okay so locksmith bin and i now ha am, am a proud owner of a new remote now you have big trouble he couldn't communicate with a body computer. He cut the key, that was the first thing he did. Then when he was programming it, he could not communicate with a body computer, he just kept failing. And I said to him, well, I've, I've put, you know, I've logged onto the body computer, fine, on my diagnostics. Um, and all of a sudden it, I heard it beep. I said to him, was that the car? And he said, yeah, it's come up with um, start, stop, unavailable, and uh, have, cheer have steering checked. Now those things are normally when you've got a duff battery or a duff um, earth lead. Um, and I said to him, and he, and he kept trying, and it just kept failing. He, he was trying all these all different things. He was there for ages, and it just would not work. I thought, oh my god! So it was a bit of a nervous moment. Um, and then I said to him, "Shall I plug my diagnostics in, i.e., multi ECU scan, and we'll try that?" Um, so I logged in. I logged in and fine onto the body computer, uh, and it, it came when I did the check out check for errors. It came up. They're all blue, intermittent, and there was the mini crypt, there was um, transponder or something or other, and a couple of others. I can't remember what they were. They're all related to, um, you know, keys and so on. So they're all so said intermittent. Uh, I cleared them all. He then plugged his uh, machine back in, uh, and it connected fine. But God knows what caused it. So it was something that he so I say something that he did an anomaly, that when he plugged his computer in to program the keys it messed something up and it just wouldn't connect it's really really bizarre but we've got one now so it's all done um put the new number plate on the front i've done all the painting which i'd already shown you on the bumper on the front bumper um we have i've literally just put the uh, the rear bumper back on not back on sorry i've you know buttoned it up i've done the bolts up done the screws up uh, and the ones underneath, so that's all in its final position. Um, I have had a go at this, but to be honest, I've made it worse. So, I didn't want to film it, but yeah, it's shit, basically. So I am gonna go over tomorrow, lunchtime, over to Essex and get the replacement one. As I say, the replacement one has got a little ding just there, about, about there-ish, which I should be able to pull out fine. Yeah, nuisance, but because it would have been done. Everything else is done. I've reset the uh, the service coupon. Um, obviously, we've done the service. Got the strip on. It's all done. Everything's done. It's all clean. Got a new set of mats in it. It's all cleaned on the inside. The only thing I've got to do is I did clean the steering wheel, but I forgot I missed a bit on the side there. Uh, so I've got to do that. Everything else is done. Just needs a wash on the outside, uh, a spray of the Easy Coat, a black up of the tyres, and that's it ready to go now i did have a go at these wheel trims i didn't sand them down i just touched them up so you can see it i've used a color which is fiat 210 which i think i accidentally bought i bought it by mistake years ago and i don't know what it's for it's certainly not for a 500 um it's, it's not a match but it's unless you get right down on your hands and knees you can't really see it so it's that'll do I just, if anyone knows the colour, please let me know. Um, as I say, I could have refurbished them, but they didn't really need it on this car. It just needed a bit of touching in. I've only done a bit of touching in on one other one as well. 
um, and that was it. So we'll come back tomorrow when we do the um, the hatch, and then that'll be it. I'll be, it'll be done. Give it a wash, and then I can give the give the the uh, the woman, girl, whatever she is, um, a call and let her know that the car is ready. And she will. She she's majorly excited. So I will see you tomorrow afternoon. Um, I don't know what time it's going to be because um, I say I'm picking a car up in the morning, and I've got an hour's drive over to Stanford La Hope in Essex, and an hour back. So that's two hours. So probably I'm not going to be back till mid afternoon. Hopefully it should only take me about an hour or so to do the hatch. It doesn't normally take too long. I could start it and, and disconnect everything, but no, I think I'll just leave it. I'll um, I'll do it all tomorrow. So that's it for now. So I will see you tomorrow and then we can get this finally finished, our uh, final walk around, and that'll be it. Job done. Really quick project. If it wasn't, as I say, if it wasn't for that hatch, it'd be ready now. Shame. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Right, I am back from uh, Essex, Stanford La Hope, um, which is Fairlight, the breakers, um, collecting this. As I said to you, there is a tiny little ding just here. Tiny, tiny little ding, which I'll be able to pull that out, no problem. If not, I'm just going to stick a badge over it. <laughs> but uh, I've already had a message from the girl about an hour ago asking me if it's going to be ready for tomorrow. <laughs> so I haven't answered it yet. She's really hassling me. Uh, I, I suppose I, I do keep saying to it, it should be ready by such and such a time. Um, I think that was before I knew about this, of course, so it would have been done. So they've taken the wiper off and they've taken the handle off, which is fine. They think they've left the... they left the light on there? I think they've left the light on. Yeah, we've left the light on, so we'll check, make sure they all work. Got to take it off anyway for the uh, to do the wiring. Um, I had a horrible feeling they'd cut that they'd pulled the wires out, but they haven't. They cut them quite short, um, but as long as there's enough to pull through, I have got a little pull-in thing, um, which I thought I might have to use, but um, no, they're all there. So it's just a matter of tying the string to them, as you know, pulling through, pulling them back, connecting them up, and so on. Uh, which I will do on time lapse, um, but we'll we'll get the car reversed down the drive uh, and we'll get it done. So uh, I do want to see if I can get it finished today. Um, I don't know if I, what if I'm working at home or working in the office tomorrow. So uh, I don't know whether she's going to be able to pick it up or not. But let's try and get it done today. Should only take about an hour. Let's do it. Right, that's it, it's on. It's done. And you can't really even see that tiny little dent. It's not even, it's so small, it's not even worth pulling out. It is a shame about this one, but as I say, I'm not gonna get rid of this. I think I might, I might actually, what I might do is actually, is um, stick it up south. I think that's what I might do as a bear even if I get 20 quid for it, I'm probably never going to use it again. If I was going to use it, of course, I wouldn't have replaced it. So I'm just thinking I might as well. It's bare now, isn't it? Apart from the badge. 
even I'll put it up for sale for 25 quid or something if someone wants to repair it. Um, yeah, why not? Might as well. Anyway, um, apart from all the bits and pieces that fell out the roof lining or off the roof lining uh, onto the back seat, which I'm just going to hoover up, um, that's it, ready to go. I just got to uh, black the tyres up and we're done. Oh, obviously, I'm going to clean it first. Um, yeah, we'll give it a good clean. And what else? Inside's all clean now, isn't it? I've got to go over a couple of little bits on the seat, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give it a clean. I'll put the easy coat on it. I'll black the tires up and then we are done. So a couple of days has passed or maybe three days even. Um, as you can see, the driveway is empty. Bluey's twin has been sold. Literally 20 minutes after I finished cleaning it, the lady turned up, quick look around it, looked inside, she said, we looked, we've looked at some and the insides were disgusting, which just shows it does pay to pay particular attention to the inside because the inside is where you sit in the car, isn't it? You'll need a nice inside. She didn't even drive it, wasn't interested in driving it, just wanted it there and then, paid the money, off she went. So I couldn't do that final walk around, I just didn't have time. It was literally 15, 20 minutes after I finished it. Um, so that's it, very quick turnaround, only three, not two, three videos including the, the walk around. Probably the easiest, yeah, possibly the easiest one I've done. Certainly the quickest, um, but that's it. On to the next one, which we already have, which you haven't seen yet. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. As always, if you're not a subscriber, click on the link, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. We'll move on to the next car. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.